Welcome everybody. This is the Groovy Musical Gamer. How you doing today? And today we're gonna unbox Super Mario 3D All-Stars for Nintendo Switch. The Target pre-order exclusive. But I happen to get it because in my neighborhood apparently nobody cared much about this game, but it's good that I got it, so. Let's do the unboxing and find out what Target threw for us. All right, let's take a look at the the box art over here. We got Super Mario 3D All-Stars, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. E for everyone, todos. Let's take a look at the back over here. Jump, slide, and soar through the Mario's 3D platforming history. See people, we got three games. Some people are wondering where is Mario Galaxy 2? I'm wondering that too. It says here you can play 175 tracks throughout the three games. It says co-op and made in Japan, mild cartoon violence. Okay, so let's uh Oh, I forgot my uh cartridge is in the switch I'll I'll put uh, on the screen how it looks but uh yeah pretty straightforward uh, you all know that nowadays we don't get booklets it's basically this and the art style within the box pretty nice we have three renditions of our boy grabbing the star he looks really good Everything tip top shape. From my understanding, uh, this one runs at 4 by 3. These two run 16 by 9. But the difference is these two run at 30 frames per second, and this one runs at 60. So, yeah, I mean, a huge, huge package. Okay, so now that we looked at this guy over here. Let's take a look at the stickers. Yes, uh, apparently this was a Target pre-order exclusive, but the guy just gave it to me when I walked up to the counter. What was it, uh, on Friday, yes, Friday. And he just gave me these, you see these are, I thought they were stickers, but they look like magnets. You got a uh, Mario Galaxy in the back. Super Mario 64 in the front, and I would assume that Sunshine is over here. So let's take a look and find out what's inside, shall we? We don't need no stinking knife. Ugh. Good. Uh, all right, let's take a look. Very nice, very nice. Sunshine stickers. I mean magnets look pretty pretty sweet. Uh-huh. Uh very good. Very good. Let's see. Here's our boy. This is My peak right over here. Super Mario Sunshine Stupid Bowser Jr. Had to get a spot, but not his father. I don't get it. Okay Very nice and lastly We got the OG Super Mario 64 stickers. I mean magnets. Dang it. But yeah, people, I, I've been uh, playing. What you call it? I've been playing Super Mario Galaxy uh, today, and I just released a video on YouTube. My first episode playing it on the Switch at 1080p, 60 frames a second. If you want to check it out, I'll. I'll show on the screen my YouTube channel and my Instagram for those interested. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we know these are ROMs. We know Nintendo could have given us a little more, but for the sake of having these games in the Switch, wouldn't you want it any other way? So in conclusion, if you like to get your kicks and your fix, Portable Mario on the Switch. If you're the kind of person that, when you were growing up, you wished to have huge games in the palm of your hand, although this is the ROM and it 
Could have been a little more effort put into it. Ruben highly recommends this game. Not only for the sake of playing it on a modern TV, but it's upscaled and it looks prettier. It runs better. First of all, Mario 64 used to run 20 FPS. Now it runs at 30, so it's solid. So if you had something to uh, question about this port is the fact that they could have done a better job when it comes to effort, but the game otherwise is solid and I highly recommend it. Thank you people for watching and if you like what you saw, slap that like and subscribe. See you in the next one.